In this video I'm going to show you how to install your certificates in an easy way if you have your own domain. So I'm on my plugins page, I've installed the omvextras.org um, plugin so that I can get lots and lots of extra plugins and if you're not sure how to do that check out my last video and I'll show you how that was done. Um, so now that I've done that I'm going to install the plugin Let's Encrypt. Okay, so. OpenMediaVault dash Let's Encrypt 2.4. Let's click that. Let's install. Yeah. And what this is going to do is it's going to be able to automatically assign me a legitimate certificate that I can have for my domain. And then every time I go onto my domain, go onto my own cloud instance, for example, I'll no longer get the this. You you are going onto a a strange certificate um, warning and some browsers will actually block you from ac accessing your own website because you don't have a paid for certificate. Now I have been able to get certificates in the past from f from places that provide free ones for um, for normal use like Start SSL is a good one but it's quite a complicated process not only to get the certificate, not only to generate the certificate or to set up an account and get it verified but also to install the certificate can be difficult. I'm, I'm no sysadmin, I, I don't know um, lots and lots of stuff about Apache servers or any of this thing and it took me a long time to install my certificates that way because the certificate manager on, on here that's built in is really it's good for if if you've got um, basic certificates or you want to set up your own certificates where you, you get these warnings because they're not signed by an outside agency but if you're wanting to install a, a simple one that is either a free one and legitimate one that you've got or or a paid one it can be a little bit counterintuitive because there's not all the options that you actually need for all of the different files that you have to um, install and it took me a long time to figure out what I had to copy into where um, which files I had to actually merge some certificates together and it just made it really difficult and it took me it took me weeks to actually get something up and running and I did it but this now makes it a heck of a lot easier so if we click OK we will end up with a let's encrypt box here if we click that we get these options so if we click enable here we'll get a monthly update of the certificate which is great because the certificate doesn't last very long I think it's two months but I'm, it, it might be slightly longer or ever since it's slightly shorter but this will just generate you a brand new certificate without you having to do anything um, I am going to put test certificate on just because um, I haven't actually got a domain here so normally you would have this off to generate your first certificate and then you could turn it on to generate any other certificates that you might want um, so let's put a domain in here let's let's uh, let's pretend we we have a domain um, I don't know let's say it was arm1e dot com okay and let's say that my email was arm e at me.com oops at okay and this is already filled in of where the root of our um, web instance and our Apache server and everything are to be found so I don't have to change that and then I think we just go to save okay and apply and that will save all my settings um, obviously read the warnings down here, port 80 must be open which is your normal HTTP port so it probably will be open um, if not you can usually turn on um, turn on quick settings at UPnP for example and that should open it for you and then generate a certificate now remember this is a test certificate it's not actually going to do anything but once this is finished you would have a certificate installed on your machine and it will update itself every month once you enable this little checkbox up here and that's it very very simple you then have a full SSL certificate it, is, it works really well you don't get all the warnings that you used to get and it's much easier than anything else I've, I've seen you can use let's encrypt from the command line and you can use it on any server it's not just on open media vault but this plugin does make it a heck of a lot easier and um, I have heard people saying that you know the certificates run out and they've forgotten and then they've got to go back through the the process and the fact that this does it, um, it sticks it in a cron job scheduled task 
just set it and forget it really sometimes you get a little message saying that the certificate has changed and you just click OK and then the whole thing works no problem so um, I found it absolutely brilliant really helped me with my home server um, but like I said you have to have a domain that you own and the email address has to be registered to that domain so here I would have to have an email address that was well, usually it would be at ARM1E.com or something like that, so that you get the email to verify what the account is. So um, I'm just going to close this page now because it's not going to actually set up a certificate. But you get the general idea. It's a fantastic little plugin. I think um, you. Ah, there we go. It's finished. Fantastic little plugin that makes it incredibly easy to get yourself some. Um, ignore this. It's just because I don't actually have a, a domain set up properly. Um, and it just makes surfing the web um, securely, um, especially onto your own things. Because if you're setting up own cloud or if you're setting up next cloud, it has to have um, an HTTPS SSL connection, or you can't actually get to it. So um, the alternative way, I will show you the alternative way. If you click on certificates here, we can go to add, create, and then we can put our comment in there, which isn't very helpful and you'll get a warning. Import, you can put your private key in your public key and then any comments. The problem is when I've had certificates in the past there isn't just the private key and the public key, there's um, the certificate authority key and some other things. It took me, a, Like I said, it took me a long long time to figure out how to put those into this one um, section and I've done it and if anyone wants me to go through how to get it to work I can but it's a very complicated process and now I've just switched everything over to Let's Encrypt and I find it works brilliantly. Okay that's everything, I um, hope that video has been helpful, thank you for watching, bye.